Welcome back guys, my name is Patrick and this is the Oilers Rundown. Today, the Oilers announced a signing and I also have a trade proposal to go over with you guys involving Jake DeBrusque and Warren Fogle. Let's get started. The Edmonton Oilers have signed Marcus Niemelainen to a two-year contract extension with a cap hit of $762,000 per season. The first year of the contract will be a two-way deal and the second year a one-way deal. Nima Linen will be a restricted free agent at the conclusion of the contract. I love this signing for the Oilers. Nima Linen has brought size and toughness to the team this year, and aside from a few learning curves, has looked really solid. This should be a great value contract for the Oilers over the next few years. I couldn't understand why Nima Linen was sent down to Bakersfield the other day, but of course, shortly after I posted the video, it was announced that Nima Linen and his wife are expecting a child soon, and of course, everything made sense then. This is great for them to have a contract in place going forward, as their family is set to grow. Next up, my trade proposal. Jake DeBrusque has been rumored to be going to the Oilers for years now. It just feels like a trade that should eventually happen. The Oilers have interest. There were reports a trade was discussed back in the summer, and I think the Oilers have maintained that interest throughout the year. As most everyone knows, Jake DeBrusque is the son of current Oilers analyst, and of course, former Oiler, Louis DeBrusque. Jake was also born in Edmonton. After being drafted 14th overall in 2015 by the Boston Bruins, DeBrusque has had a rocky start to his NHL career. Here's a look at his NHL numbers, beginning with the 2017-2018 season. His first two seasons were great, especially 2018-2019, where he finished with 27 goals and an additional 11 points in the playoffs. 2019 saw a drop in his point totals, and the 2020 season was the worst of his career, finishing with 14 points in 41 games. Earlier this year, Jake DeBrusque submitted a trade request, and since then, he's been bouncing back. He currently has 15 goals and 25 points overall in 52 games. DeBrusque has been given an opportunity to play further up in the lineup in Boston, and it's helped result in an increase in production. However, despite his success, DeBrusque's agent has confirmed that the trade request remains in place. DeBrusque is currently making $3.675 million and will be an RFA at season's end. Which brings us to Warren Fogle. Bob Stoffer of Oilers Now is reporting that there are teams looking at Fogle as a potential third-line left-wing option heading into the trade deadline. Pure speculation on my part, but I'm wondering if the Bruins might be one of those teams. If they are looking to move DeBrusque, Fogle would certainly fit the bill as a replacement. They both slot in on left wing and can move up and down the lineup as needed. Fogel has two years remaining on his contract after this one at $2.75 million per season. If we take a look at Fogel's totals over the past four years, he produces less than DeBrusque, but he also comes at a reduced cost, and Boston would have cost certainty on him for two more years. Looking at their point totals from this year alone, they certainly come in as comparable. DeBrusque with 25 points and Fogel with 20. Here's what a possible trade could look like. To the Edmonton Oilers, Jake DeBrusque. To the Boston Bruins, Warren Fogel, and Edmonton's 2023 third round draft pick. If I'm Ken Holland, I'm not offering a better deal than that. In fact, I would try to do a straight one for one swap, but Boston would likely reject that. Like I said, their point totals are nearly identical. Fogel is signed to a good deal, and the Oilers have to qualify DeBrusque at $4.41 million on a new deal so his price tag isn't going down. Given the circumstances, what I've proposed is more than fair in my opinion. Yes, DeBrusque was a first round pick, but his numbers don't justify a higher asking price. If the Bruins want more, I walk away from any potential deal. Well guys, what do you think? Should the Oilers pursue Jake DeBrusque? Would you move Warren Fogel in that deal? What do you think about the Marcus Niemelainen signing? Let me know in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel, and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Have a great evening, guys, and I'll see you soon. Take care.